Greetings fellow DIY enthusiasts. It's thrilling to have you back on our channel. Today we're unraveling the mystery of checking load cells with a multimeter. If you're keen to learn how to test a load cell's functionality, you've stumbled upon the perfect tutorial. So, what is a load cell? In a nutshell, a load cell is a transducer that converts force or weight into an electrical signal. It finds its place in an array of applications, from weighing scales and industrial machinery to the intricate world of robotics. To check the functionality of a load cell, our trusty tool, the multimeter, comes into play. This amazing instrument lets us measure various electrical properties such as resistance and voltage. Now it's time to walk you through the steps. Step 1. Kick off by setting your multimeter to the ohms or resistance mode. This will enable us to measure the resistance of the load cell. Step 2. Identify the terminals of your load cell. Typically, load cells boast four wires, red, black, green and white. The red and black wires cater to the power supply, while the green and white wires serve to measure the output signal. Step 3. Connect the multimeter leads to the green and white wires of the load cell. Ensure the red lead connects to the green wire and the black lead links to the white wire. Now it's time to take a resistance reading. A functional load cell should display a specific resistance value. To determine what that value should be, you can either refer to the load cell's datasheet or consult the manufacturer's specifications. Step 4. Observe our load cell's resistance reading of X ohms. This signals that the load cell is within the acceptable range and is functioning as it should. Step 5. If your load cell's resistance reading strays from the specified range, it might suggest a faulty or damaged load cell. In such instances, replacing the load cell with a new one is advisable. And voila, you've successfully checked a load cell with a multimeter. This simple process ensures accurate measurements and wards off potential issues. Remember to always refer to the load cell's datasheet or the manufacturer's specifications for the correct resistance values. We've reached the end of this tutorial. We hope you found it useful. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, we're all ears. Leave a comment below. Do like and subscribe to our channel for more DIY tutorials. Until our next rendezvous, happy testing.